In this video, we will cover the overview of offshore oil and gas production facilities. Offshore production facility typically consists of the well heads, separators, compressors, gas dehydration system, gas metering system, crude oil transfer pump, and liquid metering system. The production from high high pressure wells, or simply known as HHP wells flows to the HHP separator. The pressure is reduced using pressure control valve at the top of the HHP separator. The gas discharged from the top of the separator will enter the inlet of third stage compressor. The liquid of the HHP separator will enter the inlet of the high pressure separator, or simply known as the HP separator. The pressure is reduced using pressure control valve at the top of the HP separator. The gas discharged from the top of the HP separator will enter the inlet of second stage compressor. The liquid of the HP separator will enter the inlet of the low pressure separator, or simply known as the LP separator. The pressure is reduced using pressure control valve at the top of the LP separator. The gas discharged from the top of the LP separator will enter the inlet of first stage compressor. The liquid of the LP separator will enter the inlet of the surge vessel. The gas discharged from the top of the surge vessel will either go to the flare system or recovered by the low pressure recovery system. The liquid of the surge vessel will flows to the crude oil transfer pump. The purpose is to boost the liquid pressure. Finally, the crude will be exported to onshore crude oil terminal via the crude export pipeline. The gas from the third stage compressor will flows into the gas dehydration system. The purpose is to dry the gas. Natural gas often contains water which can cause damage to pipelines and equipment through formation of hydrates. The water can also cause corrosion to downstream pipelines and equipment. Thus the water must be removed. The water is removed from the gas using water absorbing material known as glycol. The gas will be measured by the gas metering system. Finally, the gas will be exported to onshore gas terminal via the gas export pipeline. Production from the high pressure wells or HP wells will flows into the HP separator. Production from from the low pressure wells or LP wells will flows into the LP separator. All the production will subsequently go through the similar separation, compression and pumping prior to be exported to onshore. We are at the end of the video. Hope you find this video useful in understanding how an offshore oil and gas production facility works. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel to learn more about other engineering topics. Do leave your comments if you have any topic that you would like us to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching this video.